Do not play FNAF 2 until after you watch this video. Now, why shouldn't you play FNAF 2? Well, that's because of the Stingray virus, which we will be discussing in length in this video, explaining what it is, if you have it, and much, much more. So before I get into it, make sure to subscribe if you love Finance at Freddy's, but anyways, let me explain. Now, let's start back at the beginning, so we can better understand what exactly the Stingray virus is. In late 2014 and in early 2015, when FNAF 2 released, a fake version of FNAF 2 was released on a sketch website called Aptoid, which provided a free version of the full game. The game was uploaded by the user Stingray, hence the name of the virus, followed by Arabic text which supposedly translated means is watching. Upon downloading the game, the application would ask for access to all of your files. If you were to accept, you would be allowed to play the game. If not, you wouldn't be able to play until you accept it. And you wouldn't be able to uninstall the app either as it would be permanently installed on your phone so you were basically already screwed. The game would act relatively normal. You would progress through the nights normally, but that's until you reach the end of the game. Once you reach the screen where you see the paycheck, you would be jump scared by this very unsettling withered chica, which would be followed by creepy music which is actually the puppet's music box distorted. Please lower your volume as this may be unsettling to some viewers. Now yes, that terrifying jump scare is what would occur if you beat the game. Some people also reported that you were also going to be jump scared by a pale woman, which is probably not true, but it's just speculation. What the Upon receiving the jump scare, your data would be stolen and your device would reboot to factory settings. Some people also reported that you would have your data stolen as you played throughout the night, but either could be true. Now that's just a basic rundown of what would happen, and footage of this supposed virus has started to blow up in popularity online, with many sharing it all over social media. Even though many people have speculated about the virus since its inception, more information and supposedly real footage along with fan-made footage has come out on YouTube, which has made the virus become more popular as months gone on. So that brings me to ask some questions. Is it real? Do you have the virus? And how do you avoid it? Well, let me explain because I'll answer all of those questions for you. This virus is in fact real and was recently just found. Now, was it the OG version that was found? Well, as of right now, we don't know, but for all we know, it could be. Many people have reported finding APK downloads for this game on sketchy websites, which insinuates that people remade the game. But Reddit user at the random Baka Zero has reported that they have found code for the OG FNAF 2 Stingray, which shows us what would happen if you played. The first screenshot they provided shows us some properties for the game and some names which all point to it being real. The second screenshot shows that it actually had real FNAF 2 gameplay, along with showing that the game had updates that probably changed when your data got stolen. The third screenshot shows more permissions, and the fourth screenshot shows what happened after you beat the game, showing that it locked the screen after collecting all data and uninstalled the device. So I'd like to formally apologize to all the people who watched my short about this because I said it was fake, but actually it is real. Anyways, if you think that's all of the information about this, there's still more pointing towards it being real. Some more people on this same Reddit thread found the original link to an app that follows all the same specifications that the supposed Stingray virus had, which brings many people to believe that it is real. And the original app was in fact released in August of 2014, even before FNAF 2 released. This would make sense, especially if the game was later updated to be a direct port to FNAF 2. Now, is that possible? I don't know. So, is this the Stingray virus? Well, it has the same name and ask for permission before you play it, so many people think it is. But until more research is done on this, we won't 100% know for sure. So for right now, it's considered lost media. But that still brings up the question, is the very popular FNAF 2 Stingray virus footage real? Well, simply put, no. This video explains it pretty well and debunks the footage fairly easily. So I'd recommend checking it out after this video. But if you don't want to do that, I'll explain it as well. Now, there is multiple things in the footage that point to it being fake. But the main thing is that it is footage stolen from another YouTube channel. And that's really it. That's basically the main thing that that debunks this footage. Many people also explain that the virus is just a ransomware disguised as a FNAF 2 port, and that when you play the game, nothing 
nothing actually happens. You just have a black screen and your data gets stolen, but as of yet that isn't confirmed. So the game could either be a FNAF 2 port or just a ransomware that does nothing, but until we do further research, we won't know that. Now with all of this information, a new phenomenon has started to spread like wildfire in the FNAF community, with that being FNAF ransomware videos, which many of these are inspired by the FNAF 2 Stingray virus. And due to this newfound popularity in these ransomware virus videos, please be careful when downloading or purchasing FNAF games, as I'm sure many ripoffs and copycats are going to actually recreate these viruses in the near future, if they haven't already. As of right now, many of these are hoaxes, but unlike the Stingray virus, some of them might be real. But only time will tell if Stingray is real or not. It could just be a creepypasta for all we know. But if you'd like me to talk about these other FNAF ransomware videos, make sure to subscribe if you love Finance at Freddy's, because it's a rabbit hole in of itself. Just like how the Stingray virus is, if there's one thing we can confirm about all of this, it's about what kind of virus Stingray is. The virus that Stingray uses is actually not called Stingray, but instead called Elite. Elite is a malicious program that can infect Android phones and can be disguised as popular apps like how the FNAF 2 Stingray virus is. Primarily what the virus does is it can steal and wipe all of your data, randomly send SMS messages to all of your contacts, and block all apps. Another very popular game, Angry Bird Transformers, was also the victim of this same virus. It was disguised as the real game that when downloaded, it caused anyone who fell for the trap of downloading the game to lose all data. It had the same features as the Stingray virus does, like asking for permissions and etc. So this elite virus can be found in other games, which even further proves the existence of the Stingray virus possibly being real. So with that being said, how do you know if you have it and how do you keep safe from it? Well firstly, if you paid for and bought FNAF 2 and downloaded it off the App Store or Google Play Store, you're gonna be fine. But if you pirated it or downloaded it off a sketchy website, well I'd recommend deleting it because you could get a number of other dangerous viruses from doing that. But if you had to accept permissions to even play the game, then well, you probably wouldn't be watching this because you would have already been screwed. So please do not go and download sketchy website versions of FNAF 2. The game's almost 10 years old now, just buy it off of Steam or whatever you want to buy it on. So here are my final thoughts on the FNAF Stingray virus. It's real in a sense. The virus is something to look out for, and it is something that can cause extreme damage to your device if not careful. Over time, I'm sure we'll get some more news regarding Stingray, but until then, we all need to be safe. If you have any thoughts or want to make me aware of some information that I missed, make sure to comment them down below. Oh yeah, there's one last thing I forgot to mention to you guys. There is a bunch of recreations of what the supposed Wither Chica jumps scare is supposed to look like on YouTube and TikTok and etc. If you want to do some more research of Stingray yourself or just see what the Stingray virus supposedly looked like and what it supposedly did after you played, go check out the original video along with all the recreations of the Stingray virus. They're all very creepy and terrifying and if you really don't want to sleep tonight, go and watch those. <laughs>